Hi everyone! So I'm such a loser and I didn't take any photographs of what my hair looked yesterday but I am going to show you how it keeps today. So as you see I already have it up and what I used on Thursday night because today is Saturday I styled with Curl Junkies Aloe Fix Styling Gel paired with Hair Rules Where is it? Leave-in Conditioner with a couple of drops of argon oil from Kenza and when I had had it up yesterday I woke up with it as it was it looked the same as it did on Thursday night and then I put it up and I pretty much had it up all day and I didn't have a blow dryer at hand to put it to get it back so I just want to show you so we could discover together how the hair is looking and keeping after one day so this is day two so as you see, the curls are pretty much intact here, but as you see, is really straight here. So first, I'm just going to take my blow dryer, no nozzle attached or anything, uh, medium heat but max blow. Because I had my hair up for like the last day and a half, it's really straight here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take some water and run through the straight parts here with water. And what this will do is kick back the curl on the straight parts. And since I had put on product yesterday, some should stay in so there's enough for it to kick back with. But if there's not enough, I can just take some more of the gel and put it back on. I'm going to hit this side. And you don't need a lot of water, just enough to add moisture so the hair could recoil. And I'm not even looking for that much of a strong, defined curl pattern. Just enough so I can take that straight out of my curl so the hair could fall better. And this and on the front too, I'm going to hit in the front, I'm going to just do this. Lots of times if I had my hair up in the pony poop for just a couple of hours, my hair keeps pretty well and I could just use the blow dryer to bring it back into shape. But since I had it up for the last day and a half, I mean I put it down when I slept of course, but it still wasn't enough for the hair to kick back with. And so I just hit the front, so the front could have some curl definition and not have that straight edge look. And if you want to hit the bottom some, the bottom you won't see, but just so it could, you know, be in the club, I'm going to hit the bottom too with some water, just comb it through with my fingers as such. And if you want to take this opportunity, maybe you, maybe you add some leave-in to your hands so when you rake through the water, you add some more moisture back into the hair. Once again, not a lot of water, and of course I'm an idiot, and I keep forgetting to this day to get a water bottle. So easy, and I just found myself in a Dwayne Reed, and like, are you forgetting something? Nah, I'm done, and I forget the water bottle. So, there you have it. The hair is back into place. And it's a lot bigger now than it was on Thursday night. And the reason why I really like it in a pony poof, although it kind of disrupts my curls on the front sides and back, it gives it length and shape. And because my hair is pulled out and huge, I, I mean, I freaking love it. And I can reshape my bangs. You see that it's like doing this side thing here. Or I can make it so that it's all bang. 
so many options and we're feeling good my hair feels feels healthy it doesn't feel product residue it will feel so some when you add the water and that's a good thing so you don't add more and more product and like by the end of the week you're like freaking snowstorm anytime you shake your head because it's like so much product on product but there was enough from Thursday night for me to work with to just add water to and for the curls to kick back some and you see here it's not about being super defined it's just about giving the hair some opportunity to shape itself again so that it's not just like straight here and curly at the ends because that's like the worst look ever so there you have it really love what the product does and really love how it could work with you days after so if you did find yourself putting it up all day or whatever it still gives you the opportunity to reshape it without having to jump in and start from scratch unless you really want your hair to be super defined and more uh, less frizzy curl and more curl then yeah you probably have to step back in and rake it through section by section or maybe not maybe if you did that in the first place you wouldn't have to you would still have that defined look smaller hair but I'm really digging the big hair look so this is just fine for me I'm totally satisfied with this and if I keep this it will look like this tomorrow if I don't put it up again if I keep it just as it is it's going to dry, it'll look like this, and I'm going to sleep on it and wake up like, woo! And it's, it'll probably grow bigger because the, when I go about my day, any type of humidity that I encounter, whether it be my own and it's sweating inside and it's like a rainforest in my head, or if I just step into a sweaty classroom, everyone just got done, and the humidity really affects the shape of my hair and it might shrink up a bit, that's okay. If it does, I just take this and pull out my hair again so it can reshape itself and get back to that to that long big hair showcase. So very happy with this product and as I had mentioned in my first video, I've been using it for a while now and I think I will buy some more because I really love what it does. I love how it defines, defrizzes, moisturizes, and just kind of helps you along with restyling your hair without having to go back in the shower and starting from scratch especially when you're tired for time this took us what five minutes maybe five to ten minutes with the drying and the rewetting and you don't even have to let it dry all the way because it's damp so you can technically go like this because you don't look like you know wet dog head so it's fine five to ten minutes and you're done Woo! out the door or if you wanted to do your hair differently whether you want to do the side or the fro hawk you could do that too so thank you for tuning in if you have any questions or comments please let me know and I will get back to you in a timely fashion I'm so sorry especially since it's been a while I have to check my old old comments from my other videos to catch up on that but stay tuned because I am product hunting and cannot wait to come back at you with a new product tutorial and review. Thank you everyone. Stay kinky.